Hey, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makakwadash. Double honors to the elder high priest, the teachers of our apostles, as well as our apostles and elder bishops and elders at Great Millstone. You know, peace and blessings unto the 144,000 and the rest of the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And this video is going to be about this great work that's been happening going back to, you know, the time of our apostles, their teachers, you know, and also, you know, our apostles and uh, elder bishops and elders and all the the, uh, the brethren uh, around, the, around the globe, you know, around the planet that are pushing this uh, truth, the true, the true and uh, one and only doctrine. Okay, it's just a it's a very beautiful thing. It's really an amazement. It's a it's a, a miracle, you know. Uh, we've been teaching, you know, certain uh, well, a lot of brothers have been teaching for many years. Really starting with our <clears throat> the teachers that taught our apostles. Okay, um, our apostles, you know, on down. Okay. And great work is um, being being done, but like I was saying, you know, we've been doing this thing for a while. You know, um, maybe you had to prick yourself to to um, to look at the amazement of what's happening. You know, and I can only imagine how you know the apostles uh, feel and view things, seeing all these uh, men around the world um wake up to this truth through the youtube through hearing them preach okay ultimately even if you woke up through another group you got the the um we got this truth from them men through the through the rakakwadash through your howl by shim yahushai by hashem rakakwadash the father through the son through the holy spirit okay so I want to go into some, uh, got a few verses to go into that expresses that, how powerful this thing is, uh, what we're doing. So I'm going to start here in the book of Romans chapter 10, verse 15. It says, how shall they preach except they be sent? And when it's, and it says, uh, how shall they preach? It's talking about preach right here. The preach, the, the one and only true gospel okay it said except they be sent and it's a question mark there meaning you can't you can't really you can't teach this uh preach and the word preaches means prophesy you can look up look that up you know so you can't prophesy unless you've been sent because the prophecies in the scriptures uh are codified right and only if the 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 holy spirit is working with what you can you understand them okay even you know we have teachers you hear the word but just because you hear it and it's getting broken down to you uh don't mean you're gonna understand okay and um just because they're it looks if they if they as if they may be prophesying okay they could be breaking these these scriptures down wrong. So if you're breaking the scriptures down wrong and you're going into prophecy, then you wasn't sent. If you're breaking the scriptures down right, which is a this is a prophetic book, uh um, then you've been sent from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Been chosen to teach this word. It says, As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them, the 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 uh, the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things because what did Yahweh Shai tell the twelve to do? He told them to go um go out and uh let matter of fact let me get it. And I go right back to that scripture here in the second Matthew ten and 
10 and uh, 5. These 12 Yahweh shall sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not, because this this gospel is 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 uh to be this gospel is for the israelites okay and that's what they're showing it says but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of israel and as you go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand and ultimately that's the that's the message though we gotta bring we have to bring out the uh um, the prophecies that must come before that happens before we're our Lord Yahweh Shai, and then starting with the elect, are ruling this planet Earth, okay, in righteousness. Some 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 uh, horrifying prophecy must be fulfilled. The time of Jacob's trouble, which we pretty much in the very beginning stages of, and the prophecy of the MOTB, and the the, the last uh, world war, which is going to be a a nuclear war it's all horrifying man but ultimately that's going to bring about the kingdom so let's go back to um, Romans 10 and 15 it said that as it is written how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and that feet represent I'm going to go into this word uh Matter of fact, I'll go into both of these words. I, I looked up the word beautiful. I didn't look up the word feet. Okay, but I do know the feet represent a foundation. Okay, without your feet, you can't uh, stand. So our foundation is the uh, the scriptures. It's Yahweh Shai in the form of these scriptures. Okay? You can't, if you don't have the uh, the feet, then you can't preach or the foundation, then you can't, you know, preach this gospel of peace. But if you have the foundation, it's beautiful. Let's look these words up. So this is for the word beautiful. Romans 10, 15. Strong's G 56, 11. Horias. Horias. Right, you heard it. So we go to the outline of biblical usage. It says blooming, beautiful. And I want to look up this word bloom and get a, a loose definition on it. It says used to emphasize or to express annoyance. Okay, got to be another. Okay, let's do this. I want, I'm going to go to the... Uh, the strongest definitions, and it's one of them says right here, belonging to the right hour or season. And uh, when you go into what is that scripture? Romans thirteen, Romans thirteen and eleven, where it says, "Now is the time." Matter of fact, let me get it. I'm gonna get it out of my scriptures real quick. This is uh, Romans thirteen. And eleven. Okay. It says, and knowing and that knowing the time, now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. And when you go into this um this word high in um in, in this particular verse, Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. That word high, it goes into season, the right season or the the right, uh, the exact time. And uh, that's the time that we're in. Because we have what? We have the, uh, we have the truth. Yahweh Shai. Dying on the cross unlocked the, the mysteries to this to the scriptures according to uh, Revelation the fifth chapter. 
right? And we really wasn't going to get the get the uh, fullness of, of of that, meaning um, the full understanding of these scriptures until the end. Until the end, when the Most High would uh, do according to Jeremiah three and fifteen, I will send you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. That's why this thing is so. We know that's true because all of us men that have woke up and uh came out of the world out of a gentile state of mind and heard this word okay then we ate it and then we went and taught and then we went out and taught the children of israel okay starting with uh the men before our apostles you know our apostles on down okay and uh so it says belonging to the right hour or season yes yeah, the right time to uh right season to push this word because the truth is blooming this knowledge is, is blooming you know or and it also says flourishing okay yep so when we look at that word beautiful that's what it's talking about this this word going out uh, this word flourishing in the at, at the right time in the right season and we see that happening on a, on a, on a big scale now whoever thought you know all of us brothers that teach you know that we would ever you know be breaking down these scriptures in its entirety you know that's a that's amazing now, uh, from here, I want to get a precept before I finish that verse out. Uh, let's go here. And this is uh, Second Edris, the sixth chapter. And I got to find the verse. Okay, excuse me. Uh, second address, 6 and 28. It says, as for faith, it shall flourish. So how is faith going to flourish? Through, um, through the preaching of the gospel. And that's based upon Romans 10 and 17. For faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome. And right, all these uh, Esau, the so-called white men, the, the, the father of the Edomites, so the Edomites, really dealing with their elites, have cast out nothing but corruption in the earth, lies. Okay? It says shall be overcome. By what? The truth. This truth flourishing. It says, and the truth, which had been so long without fruit, shall be declared. And we see now this now this truth is, is fruitful through the through the preaching, right? This word being the seed, being placed on the minds of the of the of members of the elect, all right, to grow in them, this word to, to blossom, to flourish. Meaning them understanding and learning these, uh, learning and understanding these scriptures, okay? And then teaching. And then what? Another, uh, we're, we're growing fruit. We're sowing. All right? The scriptures say that the, the harvest is plenteous. The laborers are few. Pray that the Lord send, the Lord of the harvest send, uh, laborers into the to the harvest and that's happening you know so let me go back to go back to Romans okay Romans 10 and uh 15 
So it says, how should they preach except they be sent as it is written? How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. Yeah, it is beautiful. How, how um, flourishing this word is going out at the, uh, the, the right time at the end of this thing so that the elect can be sealed. How beautiful are the, uh, the feet, you know, because we have this, this, um, the reason we're able to flourish and it's happening all over the earth, meaning it's word going out in, in this capacity is because of the feet. The foundation that we stand on, which is Yahweh Shai, in the form of the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. Okay. And bring glad tidings of good things. Ultimately, that, you know, we're not going to be in captivity for much longer and that we're going to receive the kingdom. This us, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the Israelites, but it's starting with the elect. Okay, so Lord willing, this video was, was edifying. And until the next, until the next one, I say Shalom.